Well, hello there. It's been a while. How's it going? I'm Tim Lewis, back in the studio. I've been on hiatus for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm ready to go. Uh, here's a little quickie for you. You ever want to blur a face on someone? You ever see someone who's too ugly or too weird, or you film them for, without their permission, or if you want to blur out, you know, a uh, a license plate or something that's sensitive with sensitive information? Well, let me show you. Really quick, really easy. Uh, here we go. So as you can see here, I have some footage of some really creepy dude who's creeping around in a studio. Uh, and I don't want to show his face anymore because he's really ugly and he's really creepy. So this is how you do it. If you go over here to effects, type in mosaic. Scroll down to st under stylize, there's a mosaic effect. Drag that onto your clip and you'll see that everything's mosaic so you scroll down here you'll see that the mosaic effect is here uh, and here's where you uh, create the mask itself so right here you I would say a, a square would be good for something with you know for like a license plate or something but for in this case we're gonna use a circle because my face is a circle my face did I say my face so you just it's pretty easy you know just put this have the mask go right over the face can kind of there we go that's good enough maybe a little bit smaller and then it's kind of blocky so I kind of want to have a little bit of uh, shape to the face so I'm gonna do the hundred there and a hundred there see what that looks like that's kind of fun and there we go so make sure that you start on the first frame which is right here um, I'm on the first frame and then look how easy this is this is so simple Click this play button here and it will track your face or the license plate automatically. And now you wait. So once the person's out of the shot, you can just press stop because the masking doesn't really matter anymore. Press stop there. And let's take a look and see how it turned out. So that was the starting frame. And if I click play, look at that. You can no longer see his ugly, ugly face. So let's say that there's a little bit of an issue in the tracking uh, because maybe it was too dark or you know your subject was moving too fast. Very simple. You go down under the mosaic effects, go to that mask, and you can zoom in and you can go by keyframe. So if you want to adjust one keyframe, you just so I'm hitting the left and right arrows here. Um, you just go to one keyframe and then you can just use the little hand tool and move it. Oh, I'm gonna undo that uh, because that's in the right spot. So there you have it, that easy, that quick, that simple. Premiere's doing a great job of moving some tracking elements from After Effects and into Premiere. Oh, I love it so much. Mwah, mm, mm, mwah. Uh, if you have any questions, any problems with this, comment down below, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can help you out. Um, if you liked this video, smash that like button. I'm going for 100 likes in this time, so we'll see what happens. Um, if you liked what you saw, hit, you know, hit subscribe on the side here or, or down below. Um, I'm making a, a, a weekly cadence of these types of videos, so um, see you next time. Bye. If you watched this far, comment down below with the word baboon. See ya!